Hello friends, Mike here along with Kyle from 61 Indie today with a dual remote unboxing. Kyle, September 2020. Yeah. A day that'll live in, in infamy. A day September that, the day. Not the month. The day. <laughs> yes. You said September 2020. That's the joke I'm saying. You didn't say a specific date. You just said September 2020. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm still struggling from post E3 stuff. <laughs> That's fair. I'm clearly, I'm clearly not in the right headspace. First. Anyways, I am a bit of Annapurna uh, announced a deluxe box set thing for all the Annapurna PS4 titles. Mm -hmm. And oh boy, as two big sad boy Annapurna boys, we really wanted that thing. Yeah. What did we not have, Kyle? <laughs> Money. And jobs. That too. <laughs> so we could not afford to purchase this thing. Uh, and in my mind, it was a limited thing. It looked fucking sick. I thought it was going to sell out instantly. Yeah, only 2,000 copies, out, apparently. Only 2,000 copies ever made. Uh, but somehow, that thing is still on sale. Still there. And last week, we recorded our five-hour post-E3 after-party thing, which you, you could hear right now on YouTube and uh, podcast services and yeah. 61indie.com. I would say like uh, <laughs> three and a half hours of AAA talk. An hour and a half yeah. of us just telling each other how much we love each other. And a lot of crying. <laughs> a lot of crying. A lot of crying. Yeah. Uh, but you text me at some point. I think it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. Maybe 1 o'clock in the morning. I forgot what time. It was it during was. the show. It was during the show, during the recording. And you say something along the lines of, well, I guess it takes six white claws for me to finally pull the trigger. Uh-huh. And you send a receipt of the Annapurna box set from IMA Fit. Sure did. <laughs> and I'm, I'm silently reacting on camera. And I was like... You know what? Okay. The blood pact has to be matched. And I went and pulled the trigger as well. And that's what we have today. We both got it. Hey. And uh, we're going to unbox this puppy together. Sweet. Let's just do it. I'm very Boxing excited. Uh, also, just for everyone watching this, the, the hammering is on my end. Apparently, right when we started, my dad decided to like start doing some work. Oh, upstairs. really? I don't hear anything. So fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you know. Who cares? Um, also, what made me want to pull this trigger even more is a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, uh, Khalif Adams uh, over at Spawn on Me got one sent to him from Annapurna. I'm like, oh, boy, yeah. it looks even prettier in person. So, so there are two versions. There is this deluxe version and then a normal non-deluxe version from Annapurna. Oh, but okay. we're fancy motherfuckers and we get the deluxe. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Let's yeah. throw these fucking oh, boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do appreciate is. Uh, I, I tried really hard to save the um, I am a bit 15 year sticker that they put on the on the I don't know if it was on your box. Oh, I have so many of those. I, well, this <laughs> is my first time buying from I am a bit. I'm happy that they included one in the box. So I yeah. have a I don't have to like scrape it off of the actual postage stamp. Uh, first looks, Mike, this thing's gorgeous. Oh, my God. This thing's super pretty. <laughs> I have some good weight to it. This. Yes. Here's the thing. I don't have scissors in here. And every time I do like a 6-1 spins unboxing or something. Yeah. This is a constant issue. I used to have a screwdriver that I used to use. But I don't have a screwdriver. Do yet. you have keys nearby? Because that's what I'm going to use. Oh, I have an Annapurna pin. Oh, perfect. It's on brand. That our friends from Annapurna sent me with that Sayonara Wild Hearts skate deck that's behind me. Oh, hell yeah. Because again, I'm an Annapurna simp. And I will give them as much money as they want. Also, ah. we'll, we'll see you in a month over on Twitch.tv. Did you just cut yourself? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I poked myself. I didn't cut myself. Uh, we'll see you in a month at Twitch.tv slash 61 Indy for the Annapurna Showcase live reaction. Oh, yeah. July 29th. Right even Ooh, some even plastic. the plastic is like it's quality high plastic. quality. Yeah. It's like it's like that hard plastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's like the sort of like leathery. Not the plastic, the actual box itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost want to keep this wraparound. So I kind preserved. of preserved. Oh, did you? <laughs> I did. So, yeah, the games that includes Donut County, Gorgoa, Kentucky, Kentucky Route Zero TV Edition, Outer Wild, Signora Wild Hearts, Telling Lies, Watson, What Remains of Edith Finch. Yeah. Which I believe are all the PS4 Annapurna games. Mm hmm. Because, um, oh my god, the other Giant Sparrow game, before What Remains of Edith Finch. Unfinished Swan? 
Unfinished Swan. I believe that was an Aaron Aperna that put it out, right? They might have published I it on other do platforms. Do not remember. Besides, that was originally PS3. Never mind. Take back what I said. It's on PS4 now. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Oh boy! Oh my God, it's like a. Oh my it's God! A book. <laughs> it's like a book. It feels good too. It's, oh, it it's... feels good. It's got some nice oh. texture to it. Oh yeah, baby! A nice little forward in there. Ooh. Would you like to read that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to show the people as they read? Yes. What you are holding in your hands is the culmination of the first five years of Annapurna Interactive, but also countless years in the making. It's the physical realization of shared dreams, sleepless nights, incredible breakthroughs, frustrating arguments, and hundreds of truly wonderful people. When we started at Annapurna Interactive, our goal was to bring special games that were a little different to people who would appreciate them. There was some doubt from the usual suspects, but we trusted that people wanted these types of games. If you are reading this, you are one of those people. Thank you for being open to new experiences. Video games are still so young, and we've only scratched the surface. I want to thank all the creators who entrusted us with their work. We know this was years of your lives, and you believed enough in us to accept us into your process and share in the development. We are all forever grateful. And while this lovely collection represents eight of the titles that made it to PlayStation 4, those titles that aren't in this package are just as important to us. I also want to thank Deborah Mars, Josh Sarfati, I'm so sorry if I butcher your names, everybody, Evan Eisenbeis, Kelsey Hansen, Neil Hemrajani, James Massey, Jeff Legaspi, Adam Root, John McElroy, Nathan Vela, Jordan Marks, Sam Kim, Tim Coe, and Megan Ellison. I don't think any of us could have known what this would all become, but but we believed in each other, and I couldn't imagine working alongside a better group of people. Annapurna Interactive still has a ton of surprises in store, and hopefully in five more years you'll be holding something just as meaningful. Anything is possible. Nathan Gary, founder of Annapurna Interactive. Oh boy, reading can't that like one of these in five years. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. But like reading that first uh, paragraph, I'm like, you know what? Sounds a little bit like us over here at Six One Indie. A little bit, just a, a touch. Bit. Even though it's only been like a year or so, it oh. has not even been. Uh, technically, for Six One Indie, has not been sure, a, year, a sure. year yet. Oh my god! I mean, yeah. So going through it, first up, Gorgoa. Oh my god! Like, come on. I'll pull out the disc. I think all the discs are just probably color. yeah i believe from the images that's what yeah. it is solid color with a with the logo oh and then it, on the back page or the Ooh. next page it gives you a little bit about the game a little bit about the game that's cool super cool well with next a up. little bit with the oh, creator the creator talks about it as well which is great my i don't know if you saw that my light is just flashing no i didn't <laughs> Gorgoa? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, next up, I believe this is Edith Finch. Yeah, love him. In the Finch household. Can't wait to oh, play a final play that game. Uh, dude, I can't wait for you to play it. That game <laughs> fucked me up eternally. <laughs> yeah, there it is. God, the art direction on Edith Finch is just fucking just out of this world, man. <laughs> I, I just briefly, the, the one sentence or the first paragraph, a collector's edition seems oddly fitting for a game about a family who compulsively collects so many things from books, to bedrooms and stories. It sounds like me and my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. I forgot this game was in here. I'm excited to actually give this a fair shot. <laughs> I'm excited to finally play Outer Wilds. For the first time. Yeah, I played it when it first hit Game Pass, and ju- I just wasn't in the mood for that kind of game. And I kind of fell off of it pretty quick. That's fair. Oh. Heavily regret not grabbing the soundtrack. Because, sure. man, banger. The, then we got this, album. this gem. We, uh, we, we Donut love County. Donut County. Cannot wait for Neon White. Yeah. Also by Ben Esposito, which is a wildly different game that I would have expected from Ben. Mm-hmm. And he made this whole game, correct? By himself? Yep. Solo dev. Donut County is a special little, little game. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a fun platform, like by the way. It is. I feel like I'm reading you a, a bedtime just... story. <laughs> like, I'm I'm your second grade teacher. <laughs> uh, then we got a... Hell yeah. Religious experience, I feel like, playing through the, for, for the first... Not even the first time, but, like, when you unlock the... 
the ability to just play the full album from start to finish, oh then it gets like super special without any like yes. menus in between start to finish. Just experience it is. It's so incredible. Good, Sign our wild hearts. Fantastic. Consistently, probably the like game score I listen to the most, like on a, on a regular basis, sure. just as I'm like hanging out, cleaning, whatever. Mm-hmm. And you love it so much, you have a skate deck of it behind you. I do, right behind me. It's amazing. Uh, I did predict that there, during the showcase, we are going to get some sort of sequel to Sign Our Wild Hearts on um, oh, July 29th. Wait. That should be great. We'll see. Telling lies, I cannot wait to fucking finally play this game. Very excited. Uh, did not realize over the pandemic how much I love FMV games. Um, right. So I'm very excited to play this one. I've heard some really good things about it. Yeah, dude. Uh, side note. Did you see Paul Rashid announced his new FMV game? I did not. We'll talk about it afterwards. Oh, very excited. <laughs> For those that don't know, Paul, what, what, how do we know, Paul? Five dates. Hell game yeah. of the year 2020. Hell yeah. That's not a joke. Five dates fucking rules. Please, <laughs> please play five dates. And if the name Sam Barlow sounds familiar, um, we got an announcement of his new thing during future game showcase, I believe, during E3. Yes. About an what's actress, I believe. It? I forgot. I think it's about an actress. It is. Oh, fuck. What's it called? It starts with the I. In. Interstellar. Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> Go to space. Um, Go to space. I can't. I don't remember. I forgot. I'll look S- it up. Seen this game. I don't know how many times. I know that have you, horse. <laughs> have you played it yet? <laughs> no. I know that, I horse. Know that horse. Uh I just know that it's a heavy game from what I n- heard through the grapevine. Yeah. Um Immortality is the game. There it is. Yep, that's it. Interstellar. Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, I played some of the first episode of Kentucky Route Zero. I have to go back to it. It's uh it's definitely heavy. It's very like it's a slow burn of a game, but oh my god, it's fucking beautiful. Damn, the art is just fucking it's, wild. Man. It's really, really good. Then Watson. From the Katamari dev. Yeah, I can't wait Only to play this with it. the girls around. Like, this is going to be great. That, yes, absolutely. I, Me and Kelsey played this at PAX East two, three years ago. No idea what the fuck was going on. <laughs> but hey, I mean, I'm excited to fucking dig in. To be, oh my God, and the message is even more perfect. Is it? It's just an emoticon. Oh, it's just the emo- oh, <laughs> it's yep. just uh, that's all it is. No words. Just uh, great. Oh god, that's fantastic. I'm so happy that's I it. finally own this. Yep, man. Oh, <laughs> love the spine. Mm-hmm. Both Annapurna and I am a bit repped. Yeah, I am just like trying to see. Hear it, but like, yeah, oh, that's that's quality. And even like the foil is nice too, like the little the foil is really nice. Um, on, on both, like I do, I love this like leather box. Oh my god! Yeah, uh, I was just trying to see because I know there's only two thousand copies. If there's any like numbering on it, I don't think so. I don't believe so. That would be really fucking cool. That but would yeah, be cool. I don't but so. yeah, but I mean, just having a collection in a very nice quality. Uh, what sort I'm looking for? box yeah sure box yeah <laughs> uh which is what it is but it's nice that it's not just a collection of in a regular old plastic case right like or even opening this up and having like i know uh since if you're watching this video you see all my like movies behind me i have a whole other shelving unit with with blu-rays on it sometimes when you do a big collection of many different things you get those very small skinny disc cases yeah i hate those i don't like those but i do love a heavy duty and and it's not like throwaway either like there's gorgeous artwork there's words from the devs and stuff like i love the attention to detail and this feels like a celebration of annapurna which it is and it is it's perfect absolutely perfect so yeah there are um on um annapurna's website just looking at all their games um yeah some notable things are missing but it makes sense that they are not on here like they did recently publish flower gone home to modern consoles um florence which is originally was mobile only it's only on switch now sure um 
Ashen is not on here, which is on PlayStation. I didn't know that. I knew it was an Xbox exclusive. Um, they published Journey on mm -hmm. mobile and PC. Um, it found is only Switch and um, iOS. Due process, which I've never heard of, is Steam. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for this time period for the first five years. Because yeah, then after um kentucky route zero is like things like i am dead pathless which are more modern kind mm -hmm. of things feels like so much longer than five years you know right yeah I, th I think a big part of that is because of annapurna's film division which is not a really a thing anymore which is sad. Um, which i'm so i'm yeah it's very sad because they put out just like their games they put out incredible films but uh they were kind of like i know separate entities mm -hmm. uh, hence why interactive is still going strong um and I, I just love yeah, for just for me having not played most of these, I'm excited to now finally have them. And I was yeah, so specifically which... was waiting to play them before because uh, I knew they were on this collection. So the ones I have not played are Go yeah. Gorgoa, same uh, Kentucky Route Zero, Mostly Outer same. Wilds, Telling Mostly Lies, same. Wadham, same. and What Remains same. of Edith Finch. So this yeah. is uh which is for how much I love Annapurna, it's kind of crazy that I haven't played a lot of these. Yeah. Like or I haven't really like mm -hmm. sat down to give them like a fair yeah, time. For sure. So mm -hmm. uh this is gonna hold me over during the summer months for sure. Yeah, because I play. can't wait to just keep this displayed behind me. Oh yeah for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, it's such a good piece. Yeah. Well, that's the Annapurna deluxe limited edition box set first five years of annapurna annapurna yeah. we fucking love you love you keep so much. rocking it dude and like even like beyond what's in this box things like i am dead and uh and maquette which is i think still my game of the year so far um the pathless which i adored can't wait for solar ash can't wait for stray can't wait for 12 minutes can't wait for open roads like come on artful escape neon white are you kidding? hindsight i forgot about hindsight oh my god annapurna so rules as we always say the best in the business right now along with Devolver Digital. We'll see you That's in it. five years for the next set. Number two. We'll see Number you. Two. Yeah. And a uh, special shout out to White Claw for making this possible. <laughs> Thank you, White Claw. <laughs> what flavor? Uh, I think at that point it was uh, Black Cherry. Black Cherry White Claw. Thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Love you uh, very much. <laughs> if you like this dumb indie content, subscribe right here on YouTube.com slash 61indie, 61indie.com for all indie news reviews previews stuff like that podcasts all that good stuff you know you know the spiel you already know we'll catch you later july 29th annapurna showcase yeah on twitch.tv slash 61 indie live react let's scream and yell about indie games goodbye bye bye